Hello everybody and welcome. Now, first and foremost, if you've not watched the video from last week's KISS race, make sure you click up here and watch that. For those of you that did watch it or you were involved in it, then you know halfway through that race there was a little bit of a preem, a little bit of a sprint, a little bit of a prize, and we gave away a skin suit to the fastest rider through that sprint section. Now, the sprint section was on the reverse course of Watopia. It was the figure of eight, but it was the reverse sprint, which is around an 11 or a 12 second effort for, for someone of reasonable speed. Now, after that race, I got a lovely message from a guy called Mike Elliott. So, Mike, thank you for getting in touch, first and foremost. And he he says, I really enjoy your videos, which is great. That's all he says. He doesn't. But thank you, Mike. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, wait till the end of the video. Click on the link and get subscribing because have got loads of Swift content coming. So anyway, Mike then moves on and talks about the sprint and mentions the lag that's involved in Zwift when you put out a big power effort or when you get out of the saddle or sprint or whatever. And he's given me some advice on how I could possibly improve my time and, and shave a few, hopefully a few seconds off that time. And it actually got me thinking, I wonder how fast you could actually hit that. So if you were to play around with, you know, getting out of the saddle earlier, driving down the little hill a little bit faster, not driving, but as in driving seated acceleration, not in a car, seated acceleration down, and then working a little bit harder before the sprint to make sure you're up to speed. So anyway, it got me thinking, how fast could I actually do that? How fast could I go? Could I get it under 11 seconds? Could I get it under 11 seconds? So starting with a 10 minute progressive warm up. I'm also going to get rid of these TT pads because you end up biting your knees on them when you get out of the saddle. So I need all the help I can get. Gonna make my way back down to the sprint now. So for the first step, what I'm gonna do is carry some decent speed down the hill as it goes around the bend, like Mike said. As soon as I see that sign, which facing the other way would say the S's, as soon as I see the back end of that sign, press on from there. It's a few, it's probably a hundred meters out before the sprint starts, but it's gonna mean the lag is reduced. So hopefully when I get to the sprint start, I'm up to speed and I'm powering through instead of accelerating through. Let's go again. So here we go, back on course, second effort. This time I've got a featherweight, or a lightweight, featherweight? Is that what you call it? Featherweight. Anyway, I've got that now, so I'm gonna use that down the hill, and I'm gonna try and break 11 seconds. Has anybody actually broken 11 seconds yet? Like, legit, not Z-Power. Ain't talking Z-Power. Or way doping, I mean legit. Anyway, let's see how we get on.
Now I ain't saying I'm the fastest. I'm not saying that, but that time must be up there as one of the fastest, legit times. And yeah, there was a little help from a bonus, but I can get that time down without a bonus for show. And I reckon I could go 10.7 with a bonus. We're gonna work on that. Anyway, just after I finished the sprint, I took a look at my computer, looked at my PC, and my game capture device had stopped working. It looked like it had crashed. And thankfully it hadn't because you've just seen the footage, but and check out this <laughs> check out this reaction when I found out it had happened. Disaster! Disaster! My game capture crashed! It crashed! Right at the top of the hill! I'm so glad that it managed to capture it. I would have been so annoyed if it had... Well, I was annoyed. But thankfully, I managed to get it on camera. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Make sure you give the video a big like. Let's see how many likes we can get. Let's try and get 10 likes. Okay? 10. And let me know in the comments below your fastest time through that sprint. If you've got pictures, I want to see pictures. If you've got videos, even better. Let's have a little bit of a competition with those guys. Let's see how fast we can get that sprint down. And again, I'm talking legit.